Yo, yo, how's it going? One of the most important things that I experience whenever I'm talking online and people look at my profile picture or people see that I have a foreign wife, one of the most common things that gets told to me is that I sold out to find a foreign woman because I couldn't find an American woman for myself. I was lazy, I went and stole a poor innocent woman out of her country, and I should really feel ashamed for what I've done. But is that really the case? Maybe. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. She willingly came here and I met her family and it was a grand old time. I went through all the traditional process of actually courting her family and meeting her family and making sure that I was the right fit for her. So no worries there. But my main point is that I believe, nah, it's not even that I believe, bro. I'm not even gonna say I believe. It is a fact that if you are interested in a specific type of women, you should have the drive and the means to be able to go and find the women that you are personally attracted to, both physically, sexually, mentally, spiritually, doesn't matter. You need to find the women that you would be attracted to. And if we lined up 10 different races of women right in front of you, a Latina, a Brazilian, a Russian, a Ukrainian, an African, a, an Asian, a Canadian, a, a, a French girl, you know, just a, 10 different women in front of you, and if they all had very similar attractiveness to you, if their facial features were, were what you wanted, if their body type was what you wanted, if their femininity, cooperation, submission, if everything in their personality and in their physicality was th something that you wanted, and all 10 of them were from different countries, don't bullshit yourself, do not deny yourself this. You would have a racial preference and you should not feel ashamed for that. Now, this could also go into a whole different debate about where systemic racism comes into play with a lot of things, but that's a whole different thing that I am not willing to go into on this channel because I am not a political channel, I am just a developing relationship channel. Some of the things that I wanna specifically go over is the fact that if you're on a self-improvement journey, like I have been for about I've been on self-improvement for about six years, since I was 23. So if you're like me, you're on self-improvement, you've actually been taking the time to go grind, be able to build your body, build your wealth, build your network, then traveling to a foreign country is a key moment in your self-development journey anyways, because traveling opens up your spirituality, your mind, it gives you life experience. Bro, traveling is so freaking cool. Traveling to a different country, even if you're just traveling to a different spot in your own country, that can be considered traveling if it's like a three, four hour travel time away. But travel in general is such a fulfilling, wholesome experience. You should travel. Even if your intent isn't to meet a woman, you should still travel. You still really, really should travel because it really is a very, very good life experience. You won't regret it. You'll have a passport stamp. You'd be like, yo, I got a visa stamp at this other country. And you can share your experience with people. And that's going to be a cool ass story. I'll bet you anything you can find something cool to talk about when you come back and tell all your friends. Traveling in general is really good. And also women in foreign countries tend to be more receptive to Western men anyways. So for example, if you're a white man in America and you go to an Asian country over in Southeast Asia, they are very receptive to you. If you're a Pakistani man and you go over to Europe, you'll find that European women are very receptive to a Pakistani man. If you're from Brazil and then you go over to Saudi Arabia or something, I don't know how that'll work, but hey, just another example. My point being is that if you go to a foreign country, the women over there will tend to be quite receptive to how you are as a man because you're different, you're quirky, and you probably look better than most of the men there anyways because you can already afford to travel, so that means that you can afford to take care of yourself, which means that you can afford to attract more attractive women. See where I'm going with this. Also, take this other point into consideration. Should you actually stay together with this woman that you meet in the future? And then she immigrates with you. And then you have babies together. Those babies are going to be real life freaking superhumans, bro. Think about it. Because there's thousands of years of ancestral history and genetic divergence between her family and your family. All right? So the babies that you're going to end up having with your foreign wife are going to be absolute superhumans. And then you're just gonna be able to set your kids up for a really great life 
because they're going to be superhumans. They're going to be raised by two parents that fought really hard to be able to be together. You're just going to be able to have a great life with great babies and a great wife. And you're going to be set up, dude. But I will say that this doesn't come without its drawbacks. Sometimes if, say, there's a woman that you're talking to and she approaches you first. Now, that's not uncommon and it's not a red flag in itself. But what is a red flag? is if she's being kind of aggressive on you, she's making you look down at her, she's rubbing up on you, and she's driving all of your attention to her, you have to still be careful and watch around you. Because if she's with someone else, they could come up behind you and grab your back pocket, and there goes your passport and your travel documents. Now, of course, she herself can't actually do anything with the passport, but you can sell an American passport or a European passport for a very pretty penny in these countries. People can live for months off of just one passport steal. So you have to be careful. If, some, if something seems a little too good to be true, just stay a little vigilant, have social awareness. Just make sure that you don't get too swept up in this situation. Another thing that can happen is if you bring a girl home to your apartment or your hotel and then you happen to have a very good night, sometimes you can wake up and your passport and travel documents are gone and she's gone and now you can't text her. If you do plan on bringing people over to your room, a very good practice is to keep your passport and documents and anything important inside of a lockbox, out of sight, from anywhere that could be commonly looked in. The worst thing that can happen is if you decide to go overseas and you find a girl that only wants to be with you because you have the potential to bring her to the other country and then she'll run off. This is a very real thing that can happen, so you have to be aware that doesn't mean that this can't happen where the woman is actually a very, very good chameleon and she spends her entire two or three years waiting to be able to come to America. And then in America, she waits until she marries you. After that, she gets her green card. And then after that, she just runs off. That is a very real possibility too. And some women are very good chameleons. But it can help to just be aware when something smells funny. Do not proceed. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200. Dating foreign can be very tricky can be very risky, but it's also very rewarding. And on top of that, if they're your taste, then why deny yourself the opportunity to go to the country that has the woman that you like? Overall, dating foreign is an option and a privilege for those that can afford it and for those that have the drive and the desire to get the woman that they want from the country that they want or the race or ethnicity that they want. It truly is a privileged option. It's not something that everybody can do. But for those that have the drive and the resources and the connections to be able to go and do it, then add by all means go and do it. Do not deny what you like. If you like a certain type of woman, then nobody can tell you that you're not allowed to go and find that woman. So don't let anyone suppress what you want when it comes to finding your dream girl. You have to have the discipline and you have to have the physique, the look, the, the status. You have to have stuff to be able to actually afford to bring a girl over to your country from another country. And that's why it's a privileged option. And that's why not everyone can do it. And that is okay. If you can do it, go do it. But if you can't, and you do desire a woman from a foreign country, do everything that you can to open yourself up to that option, and then do everything you can to secure what you want. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.